Entertaining niggas, I done seen like perform. Like I, I saw you perform, man. Nigga, you like a dancing machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so it like you being you. Get off of Duke Deuce right quick, man. So the reason why I want to say this: Who you think like the best select, like the best dance you done seen from a sports player? Like just watching. Uh, 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 I gotta go with OBJ. OBJ? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that, that nigga, he be out of control, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that nigga, yeah. he do some, he might do some shit we ain't, like, he ain't doing, like, I do, th I like how John ja Morant, though, kick it, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, John ja Morant be doing his thing, too. John ja Morant sure. be doing his thing, but it, nigga, like. OBJ, he, he, he kind of, like, consistent with a whole bunch of different. Yeah. But the reason why I say this, dude. OBJ do shit that niggas can't do. Yeah. He be out there kicking and he could do all the dances. <laughs> yeah. That's why, like, a nigga, don't get me wrong, bro. As a nigga watching you when you got damn be on your shit, yeah. I like to see that. Yeah. Cause a lot of niggas don't be knowing big nigga, we got to move. Yeah. You feel sure. what I'm saying? Like, bro, and you be kicking that flavor. Yeah. I but, appreciate it. But, I hear you say OBJ, but I think like a nigga like, do you remember like Deion Sanders? Yeah. Uh, what you felt about how he was? He used to dance a lot. Shit, that nigga, when he about to score, that nigga started doing that shit. Started <laughs> high stepping and shit. Shit, hey. But you, you know being I mean? from Memphis, like you was a Titan fan growing up? Cause they came later, like what? Like uh, around 2000, 98, 99. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I still rock with the Titans, you know what I'm saying? I don't necessarily keep up with everything that's going on. Uh-huh. Because I be in my own world, but yeah. For sure. For sure, I always rock with the Titans, for sure. You big on, you more big on college football or uh, NFL? Uh, more NFL. More NFL, okay. But you fuck with that basketball hard, Yeah, though. yeah, I fuck with basketball. So, you, Grizzlies, Yeah, all down. day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, when, look, John Morant, how, how John, he be, he be moving around the city? I mean, I'm not even sure. I I heard he, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Obviously have. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, oh, no, it's something in the water, ain't it? Yeah, something, man. bro. Hey, and then, like, with the mute, like, Memphis right now is, like, hot for, like, you know, music-wise and all that. Yeah. And I think, like, like, the culture with the sports is coming up at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? John Moran ain't no old nigga. He mm -hmm. a young nigga, so he hip to what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, it, I don't know. It's, it got to be exciting for him. Yeah. That's I'm, just like if you hear, like, you know, all the women coming out with the music. You got your glow reelers and you got your, uh, you know, it was a homegirl. Uh, Ooh, Glaciana. Yeah, they, they, man, they got all them and you hear them the music, like... Nigga, I be damn, I go to practice and go back to the house. Nigga, I'm in the streets. I'm trying to see where they at. <laughs> so that, like, hey. how you think the music affect the scene, like, with the sports culture? Bro, though? major, major. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it, it kind of, like, bounce off each other. It right. Gives each, we, each other, we, like, get motivation and energy off each other type shit. Bro, I be watching some of the Memphis Grizzlies game, and when I... As somebody being in Atlanta, when we think of Memphis, I only think about, like, black people mm -hmm. being in Memphis. Man, there's so many white people in Memphis yeah. who be trying to do, you know, the John Morant, like, when he doing that shit. Yeah, so, like, yeah. they be so lit. Like, because you don't be thinking, like, it's so close where white people just be at the Grizzlies game like that. They love the damn Grizzlies. They love John Morant. Yeah, I seen yeah. more white people taking up for John Morant than the black people. <laughs> Man, in sports world. Yeah, yeah, until you got damn retired, then they don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> they don't give a fuck, then. What about the University of Memphis? I rock with University of Memphis. Okay. I ain't been keeping up, but... Yeah, okay. You know what so I'm saying? I college, still... You... I wear the hats and all that, you feel me? Yeah, you talking about, yeah. So if you could have played sports, what, what you would have played? Basketball, for sure. Well, like, small forward, power forward? Ah. Uh... I don't know. I really... It depends, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it depends, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know. Like, I don't know. 
I probably would have ended up getting better at a certain position yeah, if man, I kept man. going. You after feel you me? Score, it's like, see, like you would dance every time you score. Like, yeah. Then, goddamn. But yeah. look, when you started, like, you know, because I think with music now, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, they play their songs and that be it. Uh, we was in Memphis. Uh, I remember Drewski had brought you out. Mm -hmm. He brought you out. And, bro, I'm talking about, like, you put on a show. Like, you know, I would see the shit on, on social media. But I'm like, you know what I'm saying? It be a clip. Mm -hmm. I ain't thinking you dancing the whole motherfucking song. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, this, this, this nigga got a different type of stamina that up big niggas ain't got. Like, yeah. I was like, this nigga must hydrate. Yeah, it's just, I, I'm finna say it again, but it depends on how long the um the set is, too. Oh, okay. Sometimes you gotta, like, like a rolling loud or some shit, like yeah. a festival. Hell no, nah, you can't do all that thing. Hell no. Nah. I thought real. Chris Brown was the only nigga. And Chris Brown, well, he impressed him because that nigga smoked cigarettes too. He threw it on it. Hell yeah. I said, what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> bro, bro, buddy be dancing, but for you, your ass be like really kicking that shit. Like yeah. and going crazy. Yeah, that shit culture, bro. It's all culture. Memphis culture. We'll show. Like, what like is it a but I'm saying like it it stopped and then it seemed like it came back though. You know, like, it was a, a a pause in it. Yeah, I believe it was like that because um, it wasn't really being represented in the music world no more like mm -hmm. that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody kind of, like, was on they, doing they, they cool shit. Right, yeah. You feel me? So, like, what gave you the confidence? Like, man, fuck that. I'm finna show this what I'm on. Man. Because that got to be some like, you know what I'm saying, some confidence, and then it's like some, like... You remember it was a time when niggas would go to parties and go to club yeah. and you would see niggas dancing. Now nah, niggas ain't that Man, niggas pouring out the liquor in the club. Man, oh my God. These goofy ass niggas. My, that shit. <laughs> Bro, my, that I come from the era me. where we talk the bottle. Nigga, I be damn, I pour the liquor out. Shit, that's why I'm here. I'm here to drink and get fucked up. Man, what? what? Pouring what? the liquor out? I done snuck so many bottles through my drawers. Man, that's like a, well, that's a pissing contest, ain't it? Like, what you doing? Get your ass up and win some money, man. Shout out to Broken Play. This your boy, Nav Green, and I got something for you. Look, we matching whatever you put up. If you put up $100, we gonna match that $100 when you use the app and use the code Broken Play. Shout out to Broken Play. You put Broken Play in the prize picks app, and when you use that, they gonna give you whatever you put up. So if you put up $39, they're going to match your $39. If you put up $74, they're going to match your $74. Whatever you got to spell, they going to match it. So shout out to you and shout out to us for giving back, man. Shout out Broken Play, man. It's available in over 30 states. 31 to be exact. Because whatever state you in, if you can't, you know somebody in another state. Be family. Let's get it. Go ahead over there to Prize Pick. Tell them we sent you. Let's get this money together, man. Broken play. Yeah, pouring the liquor out. I guess it's a way to flex. That's the new way to flex? No, nah, not, not, not my end. That's like a reverse way to flex type shit. Man, then I'm like, how old these niggas is? Man, them niggas look like they were our age type shit. No, uh, them niggas just, them niggas must just got out of jail. Ain't no goddamn way I'm pouring liquor. I don't care if they say, now nah, you can't leave with the bottle. I know. <laughs> I don't think no jail. I, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't think no nigga from out of jail finna pour that liquor out. <laughs> oh, God. They appreciate that shit <laughs> yeah, when they get out. Yeah, them niggas might be taking that shit out, too. What? No, no, them niggas might. Nigga might fight your ass yeah. for that shit. Them niggas must be some Boy Scouts. I don't know what that shit know, going bro. on. But, like, at the club now, when they get the sections, it's just everybody. Like, if you ain't got no section, you really shouldn't even be going to the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was a point of time where niggas be trying to holler at the women, dancing and shit yeah, like that. Now, yeah. like, what? None of that shit. Man, niggas around that hoe standing around looking at each other. Looking at other niggas. Man, nodding their head, mean mugging. You know what I'm saying? Then you might got some real niggas over there in the section. They got all the bitches in the section with them. You feel me? Man, you know the worst thing? You, you do hookah? Nah, I don't smoke The hookah. worst thing I could do is see niggas in the section passing that hookah around. Yeah. I ain't gonna say no name, but I told one of my homeboys, he was like, he was, he was like, 
think I got a hookah? So I was like, nah, G, we ain't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, that's the no. worst thing. Come on, right, it like, it like a bad bitch in you activate once you put that motherfucker Man, it's gonna make like, you look petty as yeah, hell, yeah. fool. <laughs> bro, I ain't gonna never tell, because I know, I got a, I know a nigga who a real nigga and he do hookah. And I don't judge him. Yeah. But do that at home. Yeah. I told that nigga, lock the door, close the door, and lock your... Put the, <laughs> boat, put the boat lock on that you motherfucker. You heard that. I For be smoking. I, I I be on the cigars now, man. I don't know. I oh, that's a real. I done became shit. a big fan of cigars, bro. For like, sure. For real. Now I see why boss niggas was smoking them now. Like yeah. I understand. Man, they light that motherfucker twenty minutes before they pull that shit though. You hear me? Yeah. You gotta make sure they motherfucker right. <laughs> I be seeing them. I was like, shit. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I'm ready for that shit. Shit, I forgot my cigar. What What's probably the, your favorite like uh? Your favorite game you ever done watched? Basketball, football, you know, just period. Like, your favorite, like, the most exciting game you ever watched? Man, probably for... Damn near either... I think Miami versus the Lakers when it was, like, Kobe and Bron was, like... Oh. Oh, my God, bro. You a big, you was a big Kobe fan? Man, I wasn't. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But I respected him. Bro, I'm the same way. Because I don't know why it's like that with, like, you know, growing up, either you like Kobe or you like You got to treat a nigga and like a gotta, op. Yeah, like, yeah, that shit that be shit, lame. lame. But you don't respect them to after because I, I start seeing Kobe interviews. I'm like, oh, that nigga was one on one. But at the time, it was like, it was LeBron or nobody. Yeah, they and just, I don't I, know. That's just who I leaned over to, LeBron, you feel me? But Kobe was that nigga, you feel man, me? Man, Kobe was a damn dog. Football-wise, I don't know if you uh, keep up with Georgia. Man, Georgia just played against that Ohio State, and mm-hmm. I think that was probably my new favorite game I done seen in a long time. That was going head-to-head type yeah, shit. Yeah, and then it came down to the end. Yeah, yeah, them be the ones. But growing up with football, Michael Vick was my favorite player, though. For sure. Hell yeah, being in Atlanta, Michael Vick. Yeah. So who the hell would y'all keep up on, like, like football-wise? If you ain't... Like if you ain't no Tennessee Titans fan, who what the other team they'll go to? Oh shit! I Being believe in Memphis, because be... Memphis ain't that far from Chicago. Nah, yeah, that's true. I th- I do see like some I know some OGs that rock with Chicago. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I kind of was a fan of them as well too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Damn, it was you was right on the yeah, net with that. I, one. I be yeah. knowing a little some shit. Yeah. Who's some of your favorite uh, musical artists right now that you like listening <clears> to? <throat> that I like listening to right now. Oh, man. Y'all, I don't even listen to a lot of people. Honestly, I listen to, like, alternative. I still listen to a lot of old Memphis shit. Like, For real? Yeah, like niggas. Project legendary Pat. niggas niggas probably ain't never heard of. You oh, feel okay. me? Like, Tommy Wright, Player Fly, Project Play Pat. Player Fly, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Nobody on, needs man. nobody. Man, that was yeah. my shit. You feel me? And I just listen to a lot of me. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? Because I'm I'm just advancing what I do, you did. So that do that keep you like out the loop or you still be like hip to what's going on? Oh yeah, I'm still hip to what's like, going on. Because like I think with, with the type of music you bring to the game and something, it's like a it's like a fun sound, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nobody ain't doing it, but it's still like it it make you think about like when niggas were having fun, like you know when niggas mm-hmm. getting out of high school. Like when mm. it was that time type shit, so yeah. it was like some shit like that. Who who would you be welcoming and, and want to work with though? Shit, pretty much anybody, bro. You know mm. what I'm saying? Anybody from Memphis, of course. For sure. You know, um, shit, man, anybody, bro. I want to. I really want to work with everybody. Type For real, shit. That was up though. Yeah. Who was that girl you had brought out? She was dope too. Blackiana. That was her? Yeah, oh, that's okay. yeah, yeah, that's my artist. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's a problem, bro. I'm talking about vicious with it yeah. too. You hear me? Hey man, a lot of niggas, and I, and I'm saying this. Some of that women rap, bro. Some of that shit too catchy. Yeah. Some for of that real. shit, cause like I I had to slow down on the shit. Cause yeah. at, when my daughters asked me to put the shit on, at first I'd be like, no, nah, but now. Like, I had to stop that yeah. shit. Like, because I'm singing the shit by myself. I feel like the <laughs> the women of the, the game right now are crunker than the guys. Yeah. They, like, on the crunk shit. Like, you feel me? And I appreciate that because it's like, come on, now. Like, man. Like, y'all you... helping me. I love it. You yeah. hear me? Did like, you see the damn Jets? They coming out to the sexy red. 
For real? Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, heard about the yeah, yeah, yeah. ski yee, so I'm like, yeah. shit, if these athletes, athletes could get pumped up to goddamn go beat a team 40 to 6. Yeah. Nigga, real niggas See, are riding I feel around like, this yeah, shit. I feel like, listen to that, like the ski yee joint. Uh, uh-huh. The other joint she put out, too, I forgot how that joint go. Talking about hell, hell cat. Cat. <laughs> like, Man, that shit hard, fool. <laughs> Man, she crunk as hell, <laughs> fool. Bro. Like, people that ain't, ain't really paying bro, attention. she walk around with that stack oh, of money God. in them glass. I'm like, she what? dead. Man. I don't know. I think one thing about it, like, we play on to an image. Like, when we see somebody, like, and we view them how they is, like, you fall in love with they. I think that's how Cardi B had one so big. Mm-hmm. But, like, my favorite, like, some of my favorite artists right now, like, um, that I probably listen to, it would, like, it would be crazy. Like, uh, I like Eddie Valero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, I, I be sure. listening to Eddie Valero. He hard. He yeah. Hard. I be listening to him a lot. But other than that, it'd be like, you know, you have, like, your favorite songs that come and go type shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. like, I be... It do need to get back fun, though. Yeah, for sure. I think the females is doing it. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm doing it, but the females is, like, they assisting this shit right now. Like, Sexy Red, Glorilla, Glock, all these folks, man. These folks making crunk music. They ain't really noticing it, though. Right. You listen to it. Hellcat. That's yeah, it's some crunk shit. hell. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think that's what it was a time where like we would hear that music where niggas would be like just start like niggas sometimes a nigga don't wanna be just so chill and sometimes yeah. a nigga wanna goddamn. Yeah. But it's some shit they saying we can't goddamn scream out. Yeah, yeah. They might be talking about if your pussy like, you know what I mean, you just yeah. gotta bob your head too. Yeah. Hell no. Hell no, it's over with. <laughs> Niggas with. already in the section with three hookers. You can scream, <laughs> scream and scream. I should be vibing to the shit. I don't even know what I'm saying. I just say the words that's safe. So you might <laughs> you <laughs> dip back out of there. <laughs> you might all uh, goddamn go to dancing to that shit and all. You feel me? I bump to this shit for sure. Uh-huh. Who's some of the uh who's some of the OG Memphis uh dancers you know uh like watched and studied and you feel like Man, bro. So um, of course, I watched my uncle. See, he was a gangster too. So a lot of them niggas was gangsters yeah. that was doing this and, shit. And back. niggas don't be yeah, doing that. Yeah, that's where it all it started off as gangster walking. That's the original name for it. Uh-huh. You feel me? So it was a lot of gangsters that pushed their wave. You know what I'm saying? So that look, was... when you say a lot of I knew gangsters did, but what was the purpose? Like what they do that, like just it, out of Well, I, from what I've I was taught that it started off in the skate rink at Crystal Palace. Uh-huh. That was the skate rink to go to in Memphis. You know what I'm saying? And man, fool, if that crowd get the gangster walking, bro. Yeah. Man, yo ass bound to get your ass beat. Like, so, so <laughs> before a nigga be done whoop your ass, nigga be done gangster walk. Man, them nigga, the whole club <laughs> would be going in a circle. That's how it started. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Just like Indians, brother. Yeah. You feel me? Cause that was black. That what black people is for real in yeah, America. For sure. You know what I'm saying? He was going in a circle. And folks say you could feel the wind from, in the DJ booth, like it was so crunk. You feel me? My nigga was jacking in that motherfucker. You hear me? And dancing, niggas was dancing and gangster walking, bro. Bro. Then that shit turned into it. It got more advanced over the. Now it's like damn, niggas could barely do it. Yeah. You feel me? So. But it started off a lot simple though. Okay, you so just when, had to have that little swing, and you uh-huh. going in a circle, man. It's up. But shit, you take that shit to another level, though. Yeah, yeah. It's you know, it's it it started advancing over the time. Like niggas started getting more technical with it. Uh-huh. You feel me? But you know, yeah. Who had who? What like what had got you like you know what I'm saying your first look that when people start looking like oh okay man y'all need to pay attention to Duke Deuce because I remember the first time that I had seen. I, I had seen a couple times uh, on, on social media, but I remember uh, QCP had posted. Mm-hmm. And then he had, I'm talking about you were performing and goddamn just killing that shit. Yeah. So before that, like, what was like, I, was, I feel uh, like what had you popping in Memphis before you even got hip to the other surrounding cities? Uh, It was whole lot of. Mm-hmm. Whole lot of kind of got me that local Memphis buzz. You know what I'm saying? Then it, it really went, it hit Atlanta. It hit a lot of different places. You know what I'm saying? She loved meeting them. All them was... Yeah. That's when all them was clicked up together. And them motherfuckers were hitting the dance move that I did in the video. Man, this mm-hmm. shit went crazy. So I just started getting picked up from this shit everywhere. That's when 
I'll say end up seeing it and all the other, you know what I'm saying? Right, gotcha. So, boom, that's the first little jump right there. And then I came back with, yeah, then that motherfucker did. Now, that's the one that got down. That got that a lot fucked, of yeah, attention. Yeah, that fucked this, this, that, the streets that put, up right they there. They started putting that shit on the shade room, all type of uh -huh. shit. This shit was hitting everywhere. I said, damn, this shit crazy. Because I think if for anybody who was, like, around, it brought back that, you know I mean, that nostalgia of, like, yeah. A nigga childhood type shit. Yeah, yeah. Like when you, you know what I'm saying, brought you back to the like the Walker Flocker. Yeah, yeah. All fact, that type of shit. Walker, I feel like Walker was the last. He was crunk. Yeah. God of that time, like he was the last crunk guy of that time, that era, when I was in high school type mm -hmm. shit. And then it started just fading. It started coming. Because I don't down think after, after that nobody else did nothing. Nah. Because even he had. Switched up his, you know, after a while. Mm hmm But he was crunk as fuck, though. Man, what? Yeah. Go oh, hard in the motherfucking paint, nigga. Yeah. And it wasn't so much of him, goddamn, he wasn't really dancing, though. Yeah, fair. You, so you you switched that to your Memphis style, though. Yeah, So yeah. we salute that for sure. For sure. For sure, bro. Goddamn, um, what I want to ask you next. So you said, like, you willing to work with anybody and yeah. everybody. So, like... What's like your top playlist? If you had like if you was putting a playlist together, uh huh. <clears throat> so you know what I'm saying. I know you got your OG Memphis music. You gonna play? Mm -hmm. Give me five musicians outside of Memphis. Outside that, of Memphis. Outside of Memphis that nobody wouldn't even think you would like be listening to type shit. Uh, Money Man. You fuck with the Money Man? Yeah, I fuck with Money Man. My little young thug. Uh, Free thug. Yeah, Lil' Key, R.I.P. Uh, shit. Nudie, 21. Shit, that man, that's Atlanta list yeah, right so there. Yeah, like, so you be here yeah. to that Atlanta shit. There. Of course, of okay, course. Okay. We, ain't, we ain't got no choice, shit. Yeah. Memphis and Atlanta, like, brothers. Yeah. Oh shit! I see, man, you and Nudie, I, I, I can see, I can see some shit yeah. going. Yeah, Nudie is like a bro. His music is low key crunk. He just, yeah. he, he just, calm. he just laid back when he. But his music, yeah. he talking that shit on his music. I feel bro. like me and him got the same type of fan base. Dude got a lot of white people that love his shit. Uh -huh. Man, this what this was so crazy. We were just talking about. I don't know if you know how Dion doing in Colorado. They just won their first game against a ranked TCU. So we were just talking about like musical acts who would bring the team out. Man, I think you would have Colorado so damn crunk. You come out mm -hmm. there with them, man. Them man, them white people are look seeing you dance and shit, yeah, man. That yeah. motherfuckers are faint. Yeah, facts, facts. I performed in Colorado not too long ago. For real, you yeah, hit them with all that shit. Man, that shit was crazy. Them folks got man. There's a lot of women out there in Colorado. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, they out there now. For real. <laughs> Crazy. Dion and his sons done brought him out there. They yeah. finna come out there now for sure. Man. Man, so look. Dancing-wise, I would say this. Like, I know Chris Brown, Michael Jackson. But did you ever, like, watch Crunchy Black? Like, Of course. Like, come that on, nigga man. used to kill that shit, Hell dog. yeah. See, yeah, Crunchy Black, he was more I think he was the OG first one on TV style. who really, like, uh... Putting on for the yeah, gangster walk, uh -huh, for, for real, for real. Walk, uh -huh. Hell yeah. So nah, that, Crunchy, I, I true. feel like that'd be different, too. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I feel like... Them, have any athlete ever uh, did, your, did your shit after they scored? Or you wouldn't even know? Um, Yeah, it's been plenty of times. I don't remember exactly... Who it was and when. Yeah, yeah. when and what, but... Yeah, plenty of motherfuckers, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That was up. So yeah, with yeah. the sports and shit, you ain't really even trying to check on games or none of that. You be like so like deep into the music. Yeah, bro. I just got a lot of shit that I be, I don't know. I be in my own world. You sure. feel me? Yeah, but I do watch it from time to time, especially when the Grizz is playing. Yeah. I, mean, I be locked in. Got my phone. I be looking like a goddamn nerd about this shit. Hell yeah, yeah. So you, you, you gamble? <laughs> do I gamble? Nah, I don't. I don't be gambling. Hey, Damn. nigga, you nigga might have a bad week, though, boy. When a nigga have a bad week. Man, energy be low as a motherfucker. He was like, yeah. Nigga, that'll, oh, nigga, that'll change the whole goddamn feeling around the house. Nigga, I got kids. I be about to take them somewhere. 
Nigga, oh, fuck around and miss a field goal, man. Sit y'all ass down, man. man. <laughs> nigga, whole mood done chain around yeah, that motherfucker. Man. Nah. Nah, for real. Um, who's some of your favorite football players of all time? Shit. I really don't got one. No favorite football player of all time? Hell no, I ain't got none. So you strictly on the basketball type shit. Yeah, yeah. Who the favorite basketball all time? Of all time? Yeah. Damn, is it LeBron? It might be LeBron, bro. Bro, I feel it, like them right now, John ja Morant though, but you John ja Morant, me? yeah. Yeah. Man, I hope I hope this year he had no. I I want him to get everything they tried to take from that. Nigga, yeah, man. yeah, he gonna come back right for sure. And no, and no phones, just flip phones from now on. Man. <laughs> the flip phone, crazy fool. Man, he, well, he need a beeper. I don't know what it is. Them niggas just want to record everything, bro. Man, no, nah, I think he gonna be good though for sure. Man, yeah, he got bro. a lot of he got a lot of shit to prove. His first game, he might drop sixty on them up. Oh God, he man, he gonna show them nigga all that shit they were talking. Mm -hmm. Cause I feel like everybody had started fucking with John Morant so heavy. Like I remember, he was like, everybody who's on that side, stay mm -hmm. on that side. Everybody reposted that clip and all that. Yeah. He gonna bring that clip right back. After this he might be 60. the this might be the most controversial shit that's been going on in the NBA for a minute, ain't it? I, yeah, most, I think they needed that nigga for that shit. Yeah. Cause I think probably since <clears throat> when they had that goddamn uh that melee in the palace, what that shit was against Indiana. Yeah, Malice in the Palace. That probably the last thing in the NBA where they had a big suspension. Yeah. Other than that, them niggas be goddamn by the book <clears throat> type shit. Don't no nigga be really fighting and shit. Yeah. That's why basketball, you know, it was a time where a nigga used to watch a few fights a season. These niggas be buddy, buddy all the fucking time. Yeah. Gilbert Arenas was a dog. The next game, he celebrate, act like he shooting. Yeah. They had to suspend that nigga, man. That man. nigga was wild. Boy, Memphis had so many haters. For real. Shit, it's since Jai and Brooks and shit. Yeah. Man, what you think cool about uh, Brooks when he when he start, went at LeBron? Shit. Just being Brooks, shit. He being himself. I don't know. Man, I feel like they goddamn crossed that nigga out after that shit. Man. They got him up out of there. Quick. Jackson a dog. Memphis got a good young team, man. They gonna pull that shit together. Hell yeah, up. for sure. Marcus Smart in Memphis <clears throat> now. Who? Marcus Smart, who came from the Celtics. Oh, yeah. He out there in Memphis now. Yeah, this shit finna be crazy. Yeah, that shit gonna be crazy. Yeah. Can't goddamn. wait. Memphis, they goddamn, they bring out the goddamn. Who um, I'm gonna ask you this last thing before we leave. Who would you goddamn <clears throat> pay to see a concert from? If you had one time, one person, one I'm person you had to pay to, to go concert. see them in concert. <clears throat> Fuck. Um One person, and you get the meet and greet experience, all that type of shit. To see them in concert. Mm. They gonna dap you up, take pictures, hug, whoever it is. Y'all locked in. They want, they want to talk to you. They want to ask you questions, too, after the concert. Yeah, honestly, probably... I'd probably say the whole 3-6. Cause 3-6 got a lot of fallen soldiers. The whole 3-6. The whole Nigga, you can make that happen. Nah, but she boo. She she oh, gone. Yeah. Oh, you saying oh, like yeah. the whole uh, everybody Lord together. Infamous, oh, he yeah. gone. Okay, Cooster just... gone. Damn. Yeah. So you talking like <clears throat> from all. Oh. Yeah, that'll be crazy. Man, do you know that one of the first rap songs I learned was from 3-6? Damn. Which one? <laughs> I don't think it's appropriate. <laughs> Sucks on dick. It was <laughs> real good. good. Yeah. yeah. Slob on my... No, that motherfucker. <clears throat> and it was... I think Slob... It's like a few versions of that joint, too. Oh, it's no, an older version, too. 
The one I knew slob on my knob, like corn on the cob. Check in with me. Bitch, do your job. Yeah, yeah. Man, fifth grade, that was all right. shit, nigga. Yeah, facts. Nah, for real, man. I appreciate you fucking with the uh coming through, man. This a new set we had to goddamn get you on here. Yeah. Nigga was a big fan of you. I appreciate it. Especially after a nigga seeing you perform and shit, man. You solid. Goddamn. Before you get out of here, you just show him a little shit you do. <laughs> Damn, this the setting for this? this <laughs> Yo, know, you nigga don't really want to ask a nigga the day. <laughs> but the way you, you know, just walk out how you want to walk out. Nephew, do that thing. <laughs> Nephew. Do it again. Do it again. Man. Nah, man. We appreciate you fucking with us, man. Sure, Anytime man. you got them. Want to know any sports bets? Shout out to Prize Pick, goddamn. We'll set you sure. up, man. Man, I'm going to get back. I'm going to get in tune, man, with my football You got shit, to, bro. Man. You on the road. Sometimes when you on you that plane, me? put that shit in. You land some more band. Yeah, for sure, yeah. man. I'm going to get in tune, For man. sure. Man, shout out to Duke Deuce, man. Shout out to Broken Play. Y'all keep tuning in, man.